industry, it relates directly to the economy system. It creates a job, employment, of course, and it also creates a culture, actually. As I mentioned before, that um, the teenagers now, so they, they like to act or behave as their favorite artist, right? So it creates a culture. Or as we have um, ever heard about rock and roll culture from rock music, right? They like to dress this way, put up the makeup on this way. Sometimes rock people. The pop rock culture. Yeah, the pop culture, right? Pop culture is from pop music, popular music. And create a culture uh, related, to, related to the economy system. And it also related to, this is very interesting, related to um, the tourism industry. How come, right? Um, I read an example of the music festival or the concert directly. If we create um, the music industry, uh, the, uh, sorry, the music festival in some in somewhere, in some city in the world, and um, okay, there's a music festival, a concert, so it certainly become a tourism attraction, right? So it relate, relate directly to the tourism industry. I read an example of. Uh, one music festival in, let's say, in Grassenberry, in England. Grassenberry Music Festival, the organizer created many campaigns, many, many campaigns to encourage people, encourage the attendance to help the world sustain the environment. For example, they created a campaign that encouraged people to use bicycle in the concert venue instead of using car or a motorcycle and it also created campaigns that um, encourage people who has a food stall seller to use a recycled footwear right so music festival or music industry also actually can relate it to the green economy because it helps the world reduce the carbon emission creative internationalization and creative convergence because the music industry is a creative way of merging all these factors together, mm -hmm. right? As I say, it's, a, it, it's related directly to the economy because it helps create jobs. Mm -hmm. It's a creative way of creating jobs. Creative entrepreneurship, music industry itself is an industry that is not just, in, not just in, in a domestic, right? If we export the music as a product outside the country, yeah. It is, this is, this is an internationalization, yeah, already. And it also related with, with the culture, actually. You can, you export the music outside the country, but once you create or you organize a music festival in the country, uh, you can also attract the people from the in, international places to come to visit to, to your country, to your city. I think it, it's, it's worth, doctor, because um, I think of, many aspects okay not just the value of the money actually but okay value of the money is also the priority right but also um it helps the country rebrand right and it also helps the country creates um i don't know creates um the fame and um it makes us become a tourism attraction as oh my god i like to be i like to go to that country because my favorite artist is there, like Korea. What, what Korea do now today? Okay, we want to do it this way. We, I want to do a surgery like this, this Korean star, like this artist. I want to go to that concert. I want to go to that city because um, my favorite artist, they grow up in that city. If we can be the world musical hub, I'd be so glad. I'd be so glad, actually. But I think we should aim to be um, the Asian musical hub first, right? Because we have so many competitors now today, and they're very, and they're very competitive. Yeah, they're very. Yeah. For example, Korean, right? Korea, very competitive, of course. And um, China, very big. 
music industry in China, of course, Taiwan. Taiwan is also very competitive. But Thailand, uh, I see the potential actually because I think there are many, there are so many talents now today.